what's up y'all my name is coiner qj and this is me and i'm here to show y'all how i went from 320 pounds looking like this God, to looking like this in under a year from 320 to 185. so this is how it all started right i was like a little chubby kid man always been fat my whole life always fucking chunky and you know even though i was a big little kid i was still active my dad had me in football and i played basketball growing up so you know i was still moving around i was a little hyper kid i wasn't just lazy sitting in the crib all the time i was still moving around and causing problems as i was getting older and years were passing by i realized that i was slowly getting bigger and bigger and uh it was catching up to me I knew I was gaining more weight constantly, and I knew I was becoming more sad and depressed and just mad at the world, but I didn't do anything to change it. I just kept feeding my bad habits. Was constantly eating bad food and staying up all night, playing video games, not going outside or doing anything physical. And at the same time, I'm playing football still, um, trying to you know be a good player and everything, but after not working out or taking care of myself physically or mentally, I try to return to the field and I just wasn't the same player anymore. And I was tired of getting made fun of by teammates and I just didn't like the environment I was in anymore, so I quit. And once I quit, my bad habits just got worse. I started to eat more and more junk food and just stay up even later playing the game and shit. It got so bad that it just started affecting me mentally more than physically. And honestly, it even started to affect me at school. I stopped wanting to go because I had anxiety and I started to feel depressed. I just had no energy or no motivation to get up in the morning and go to school. And I just felt like I wasn't the same Quinn I used to be. I had no more energy, like something was just draining me. And then 2020 came and everything was going crazy. And it was just a weird year for everybody, man. And this is the year I got to my heaviest weight ever, 320 plus pounds. But I also found motivation in the year 2020. So I found this motivation when I went on a little family trip to Colorado. And on this trip is where I realized that, damn, they got so much beautiful nature out here, but I can't even enjoy it. Because I'm not in my prime physically or mentally. And it's holding me back. I'm out of breath for taking five fucking steps up a hill. Shit's not cool. So being on this trip was a real eye opener. It really opened my eyes to my health and my well-being. So when I got back home from my trip, I just tried to start going outside and just being more we active here, overall. We Try to enjoy here, nature and just, you know, oh, yeah. change up my mindset. Yeah. At this point, I was really just trying to tap in with myself mentally. I started to meditate more often and focus on what I was putting in my body food-wise. And I started trying to get out in nature more often and just tap in with yes, myself. Sir. I started to do these little we float out. tank sessions that helped me like manifest and meditate, and get deep meditative states. So yeah, I started just, you know, experimenting with my mental and doing different shit, changing up the routine. So I finally decided to invest into a Planet Fitness membership. So I started going with my homie more often and I wasn't that consistent at first. I only went about three times a week, but I started to see results and it motivated me to go even harder. So fast forward a few months and we're into the new year, 2021, and I'm down 52 pounds. Um, I went from 320 to 268 in about three months, two and a half. Uh, it was kind of uh, inconsistent in the beginning. Like the first two months, I didn't see much results, but in around the third to fourth month, I saw a lot more change. I slowly started to notice that my energy levels were going up. I started to feel stronger and I just started to feel more positive overall. We're not playing. We're not playing anything. We, we came here to get big. We came here to get big. The gym really just became like my second home. I was there almost every single day, just getting something done. And I really loved it. I really loved going to the gym every single day. It was something I could look forward to. And it always made my day better, regardless of what happened in my day. If something bad happened, you know, I'd always go to the gym and come out feeling better. 
Fast forward another few months and here I am doing this new thing called jujitsu. After just a few weeks of doing jujitsu and getting the feel for it, I literally fell in love with it and I got addicted to it. It was like my new obsession. I started going two times a day and I started going like six times a week. And I was really grinding. I was really going as much as I could. And the weight was just falling off, you know. It was 20 pounds, then 30 pounds, then 40 pounds. And now I'm where I'm at now, I'm at 185. And you know, currently I'm still trying to, you know, build muscle, get leaner, get stronger. I also want to get faster and just be more athletic overall and just more explosive and a stronger, just better player at jiu-jitsu. But, you know, other than jiu-jitsu, I started skateboarding. I started doing other shit and just trying new hobbies since I lost weight and doing things that I always wanted to do when I was bigger, but I couldn't. And now... Ever since I lost weight, I feel like it's time to just experience life how I really should have been the whole time. I think being on this journey definitely has helped me be more of an open-minded person. You know, I definitely want to try new things that will challenge me. Back then, I never wanted to do anything that would take me out of my comfort zone or make me feel challenged but now I'm open to challenges and you know recently I even did hot yoga and man I thought that shit was going to be kind of slight going into it I'm not gonna lie I was hella nervous but I faced it and you know that shit was hard as hell I was sweating my ass off I felt like I just went fucking swimming after the class or I hopped out the shower but I think it was definitely worth the challenge and then at the end of the day I think that taking yourself out of your comfort zone and Facing your challenges makes you a better person, but not only that, but it's what makes life a little exciting, you know what I'm saying? Doing the same shit that you're used to and comfortable with is gonna get boring. You know, facing challenges and doing new things and shit you've never seen before is what's gonna make life exciting. So go out there and face those challenges, face the things that make you scared. For me, it was really jujitsu. I was scared to, you know, dive into it head first. I was thinking of all the negative thoughts running through my mind. But, you know, at the end of the day, I ended up joining and it took me some time, but I joined and it definitely changed my life for the better. I feel like a better person after joining. I feel more disciplined and my life is just way different since I joined it. I felt like I joined a community. I just wanna put this video out there for people to get some inspiration and also to like motivate others. And you know, if you got goals or something you wanna chase, don't ever listen to anybody else's opinion. Do what you wanna do in this life and just keep chasing, keep dreaming keep striving you know keep pushing through you know keep doing the things that you love to do and don't ever let anybody's opinion change what you do you know what i'm saying these goals and dreams and the life that we live is also short and it all seems so fucking long and fast in the moment but when you look back everything just goes by quick so before you waste any more time, lock in now, get into your goal now, start doing what you really wanna do now. And it's never too late to make a change. So it's just, you gotta find it in yourself. And sometimes you gotta put in that hard work. So I'm done ranting and everything, but I really do appreciate anybody who came by and you know watched my little journey. Um, I'm gonna be posting more content like this, jujitsu, um, vlogs, shit like workout stuff transformation stuff all that good shit so just stay tuned you know if you like some of my content don't be scared to hit that follow button like uh leave some feedback in the comments for me you know i'm just trying to start everything up so yeah i appreciate y'all and uh peace if you want to be with the boys you know where to go Elfast, bitch, ain't my goals.